Then you got a guy like Tim Cook, who was the CEO of Apple. He was asked recently about crypto. And he basically said, well, yeah, I, I have I have crypto. But then he they always kind of offset it with something like, but I'm not really an investor. And then you have other people like uh, Steve Wozniak, you know, coming out and saying, well, yeah, it's based on real mathematics and it's, you know, there's mm -hmm. a science there to it and it works, but I'm not an investor. So it's almost like, yeah, it works, but I'm not really involved. It's it, how do you account for the fact that all these billionaires are so reticent about going all in and saying, absolutely. Yeah, I'm in, you know, Elon Musk was the closest thing I think to a guy who kind of endorsed it. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I mean, in the case of Woz, he or Wozniak, he said, I'm not an investor. He yeah. didn't say, I don't own it. He said, I'm not an investor. Those are two okay, different so he, things. He's playing games here. I mean, what what's he doing here? Why not just say, yeah, I own it. But instead he said, I'm not an investor. Well, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> I don't know. You have to talk. You know, get him on your show. <laughs> Ask him Love to think. have Wozniak on the show. If you're watching, Steve, I mean, give me a call. <laughs> or get a you hold see, you know, of I'll, Benjamin. I'll give you the most egregious example of it. A guy who I don't really have any uh, love for. Uh, what's the guy who owns the Dallas Mavericks? Yeah, um, uh, Cuban, Mark Cuban. Cuban. That's right. Yeah. So Cuban had been bashing Bitcoin for years. That's right. Uh, it's fake money, blah, 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 blah. And then he made a slip in an interview when he finally got on board with Ethereum and whatever. And he, made it, he let it slip that, oh, yeah, I've owned Bitcoin for years. So he's had Bitcoin, we think, between for, since between 2013 and 2014. Now, did he believe in it? Did he think it was just, you know, a Hail Mary? Uh, let's buy a little bit, see what it's like. I don't know. Who knows what his motivation, what he was actually thinking. But as he was touring the world, warning people, don't buy this funny money. It's a, it's a Ponzi scheme. He also owned some of it. Yeah, it's Trust weird. And, I, and I, it's... It kind of speaks to the idea that these people, they just don't want to admit that they're involved in it or that they own it. Or it's always this kind of weird relationship. And I, and I don't know what's going on, why they're doing well, it, but they're, but look, they are, they're, 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 it's just constant where you've got these billionaires who are clearly owners of Bitcoin, but they're kind of have this weird relationship with it. Like they don't want to admit it or it's, it's almost like some kind of sexual perversion that they don't want to talk about. <laughs> well, look at it this way. Like my little bit of sympathies for them is, you know, when, when I was involved in politics, when I ran, you know, for the conservatives as a candidate, you think I was going to tell any of those people that, you know, I was into Bitcoin. I mean, back then you think there's a stigma now back then right away, they dismiss you. Oh, you're crazy. This is a Ponzi scheme, whatever. Like that's how people, treated it because it was effectively smeared the difference is people are now realizing wait wait the media shocking has been lying to us wow and that this actually does achieve everything that it's supposed to achieve you know there's there's limitations to everything but the whole idea that it's a scam people are now realizing that well no this is not the case the only person there's a holdout uh the biggest holdout is peter schiff who, you know, he would do so much for his reputation if he just admitted, you know what, I didn't buy it at a dollar. It was a bad investment move. I could have made my investors in my company at Euro Pacific Capital a lot of money, and it was a mistake. That's it. But I'm more conservative, and I thought it was too much of a risk. But he just doesn't have the ability to do that. He's just got to double down on it. It's crazy. I guess he's got, yeah, well, I mean, he own, he owns a ton of gold from what I understand and all his investors are into gold. But here's Mark Cuban arguing that Bitcoin is better than gold, telling Peter Schiff, gold is dead, move on. But you know what? Gold is actually up a little bit in the last little while. Have you been, have you, I don't oh, know yeah? if you've noticed, gold is actually up. 50 cents, a dollar, <laughs> how much? I mean, well, again, I'm not. It's, it's up about 4%, I think, in the last little while. Yeah, 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 no, no, I'm not trying to be disparaging of gold. Like, I, I think gold is for a certain generation. It's, uh, it's a way to protect value, and you know, God forbid, we go into a dystopian nightmare, and the world, the entire world's electrical grid, 
and you know computer grid and internet is just shut off. Uh, I mean, we're going to have bigger problems than that. I'm not sure people are going to be looking for little chips of gold either at that point. I think that's that's kind of a massive extinction event at this point. But um, okay. look, you're, you're not people, a fan of gold. You, you don't like gold right now. You wouldn't you wouldn't put money into it. No, it's it's not that. It's just it, there's so much opportunity right now. Like everybody's got to have a diversity portfolio of a whole bunch of things, right? Yeah. So gold is fine. It's a it's a way to protect your okay. money. Unless the government just decides, hey, we can't afford all this corona stuff, so it's now illegal to own gold and you better forfeit it. But no government would ever do that. 